Hamilton school boards are once again promoting vaccination against COVID-19 after data was released from schools across the city. As Sylvie Lenve reports, public health found that socioeconomic status and vaccination rates are linked. A lot of people are not vaccinated yet. They only have like one dose, that's it. I know a lot of unvaccinated people. At your school? Yeah. The Hamilton Public High School with the lowest vaccination rate is Bernie Custis at 56%. Data released by Hamilton Public Health shows a correlation between vaccination rates among students and socioeconomic status, the same way it's related in the broader community. As you can see, there are higher vaccination rates in Ancaster, Dundas, the Mountain, and Waterdown schools. For families that have lower incomes that maybe are working more than one job, getting access to vaccination clinics, getting to the clinics, having time to find the information about is this vaccination safe and appropriate for my child? Those are all barriers that those families would be facing. Perhaps uh, there's not an awareness or, or uh, the accessibility level that, uh, that they require. But we ask Bernie Custis students who say it often comes down to personal choice. They're okay, but you shouldn't force people to have them. I don't want to put stuff in my body that I don't know about. It took a lot to trust, you know, yeah, the vaccine, but next week I'll get it. I'm not worried because I know I'm myself, I'm safe. Some people are still kind of uncertain about the vaccine. I think the vaccine works very well. Get a vaccine if you feel like you need one, but if you don't, it's your freedom to. I feel like 56% is better than nothing, but I mean, it could be better. The 10 schools with the lowest vaccination rates in the city are mostly private, representing different religions. The two schools with the highest vaccination rates are within the Catholic board. In terms of... Um, Catholic schools that, uh, you know, the diocese has made it very clear uh, that they will not be providing uh, exemptions uh, based on faith, uh, but, I, but I wouldn't comment on any other religion. From now until December, five pop-up clinics will be held at public high schools with low vaccination rates. Bernie Custis is actually one of the schools hosting a mobile vaccination clinic. It'll be in mid-December. I think that's really important because it's not just for secondary students, but also for all of the theater schools in those areas. Staff that are vaccinated do not have to isolate. It's keeping staff in schools. Students who are vaccinated and they're a close contact usually don't have to isolate. The school boards say vaccination is keeping keeping classrooms open and minimizing disruption to learning. Sylvie Lenbe, CHCH News.